Now clearly something else is going on as the addition seems all right. Even with the combined weight of Gokul 45 kg and both bags of 2.5 kg each, they are well within the permissible limit of the bridge which is 50 kg. But the bridge broke. Now weight of Gokul remains unchanged and is stable. So something must be happening with the bags. So what is going on? For that we have to go way back to 1687 to Sir Isaac Newton's famous book Principia Mathematica. Notice in that time even science was man. It was not Principia Scientifica. And in this book we have to look at Newton's second law of motion which tells us how force is rate of change of momentum where momentum is defined as mass times the speed of the object. We need to zoom in and slow down the time and look exactly at what happens when Gokul catches the bag while juggling. If the bags go 1 meter high then the speed when Gokul catches them will be about 4.5 meters per second and so the momentum of the bag when Gokul catches will be the bag's weight 2.5 kg times 4.5 which is 11 and let's say Gokul completes the catch in 0.2 seconds so the momentum of the bag of 11 has to be brought down to 0 in 0.2 seconds and so the rate of change of momentum is 55 now force is the rate of change of momentum and so this additional 55 kgs is what Gokul experiences when he catches the bag. So the total force on the bridge will be Gokul's weight of 45 kg and 55 kg in the process of catching the bag. And so the total force on the bridge will be 100 kgs, twice the weight limit of the bridge. And that is why Gokul's bones broke. The same happens when Gokul throws the bag. He changes the speed of the bag from 0 to 4.5 meters per second very quickly just before the release let's say in 0.2 seconds and again the rate of change of momentum or the force Gokul applies is 55 kgs which will go on the bridge and so Gokul applies additional 55 kgs on the bridge. Now we know why the bridge broke even when the weight was reduced. What it also means is that the bridge will break even when the weight of the bags is 250 grams. This also explains why some players fall while catching a high ball. And why it is advantageous to catch a ball with soft hands so that you can reduce the momentum of the ball in much larger time thereby reducing the rate of change of momentum or the force you experience. So I hope you enjoyed the fall from the living bridges of Meghalaya and Newton's second law which caused the fall.